park signs get tagged on all the time and it's usually you know like like gangs or crews you know claiming their territory or whatever and so the city comes and they just you know they spray the the signs but they don't always necessarily paint in the the letters we're gonna instill pride in our neighborhood by you know showing them that there's people out here that actually care we started in february with tony Serta park and then uh in march uh my friend was doing a mural at martin luther king park so while he was doing that i was like you know what i'm gonna paint i'm gonna retouch the park sign because that one gets tagged on as well and we're gonna start with this park right here memorial park then we're gonna go to centennial park and then while the volunteers are doing that uh i'm gonna have you know my niece picking up trash you know while we're at it we're gonna call in any graffiti that we see here as well my friend and i are gonna go plant some some agave plants over there at ralph welch park and ralph welch park uh, we actually painted that sign last week and the the color on those letters was completely off there was it was just cement you know there was no color to the cement on the sign so we painted it and the residents you know walking by saw it and they were really they're really proud of you know seeing that there's people in pomona that go out of their way to you know make things look prettier here i've been commissioner now what four years and uh we've been doing it a long time um i'd say probably the past decade we've been hopping out with the parks we all have a good time we all chip in i mean it's the whole city the community members leaders we come out and we try to we try to beautify pomona i would say vandalism we're trying to keep the parks in order and uh, it's a fight every day. I'm not gonna blame it just on homeless. You know, it's, it's a lot of different uh, issues, but um, vandalism is definitely at the top of the list. The council member uh, for District 2, Victor Preciado, he actually appointed me uh, commissioner of parks and recreation. And so it was a perfect fit uh, just because of my education and my background. You know, I, I was able to study my community but I'm hoping that all the other commissioners and anybody else who's interested is willing to also take up the task to, uh, you know, paint the park signs in, in all of Pomona. I am passionate about combating injustices, so this is just like a very small way that I'm doing that. You know, when, when you do something good, people want to contribute to that. It's like a snowball effect.